We're asked to find the derivative function of each given function. First, we have g of x equals negative eight square root x times sine x. Because g of x is a product of two functions of x, we will need to apply the product rule of differentiation to find the derivative. The product rule stated to the right is the derivative of u times v with respect to x is equal to u times v prime plus v times u prime, or the first function times the derivative of the second function plus the second function times the derivative of the first function. We also need to write the square root of x using a rational exponent. So let's first write g of x as g of x equals negative eight x to the power of one half times sine x. Remember the square root of x is equal to x to the one half because the exponent on x is one under the square root and the index for the square root is two. So now from here, g prime of x, applying the product rule, is equal to the first function of negative eight x to the power of one half times the derivative of the second function, which is the derivative of sine x, plus the second function of sine x, times the derivative of the first function, which is the derivative of negative eight x to the power of one half. And now let's find the two derivatives. g prime of x is equal to negative eight x to the power of one half times the derivative of sine x with respect to x is cosine x. And then we have plus sine x times the derivative of negative eight x to the power of one half with respect to x, which is equal to negative eight times the exponent of one half times x to the power of one half minus one, which gives us an exponent of negative one half. And now let's simplify. We have g prime of x equals negative eight x to the power of positive one half cosine x. And then we have plus negative eight times one half is negative four. So let's write this as minus four x to the power of negative one half sine x. So this is the derivative function, but let's go ahead and rewrite it using positive exponents. We can think of the second product as a fraction with the denominator of one, and then we can move x to the power of negative one half to the denominator, which will change the sign of the exponent. So we have g prime of x is equal to negative eight, x to the power of positive one half cosine x minus four sine x divided by x to the power of one half. This would be one way we might see the derivative function. Another way would be to rewrite x to the power of one half as the square root of x. So we can also express the derivative as g prime of x equals negative eight square root x cosine x minus four sine x divided by the square root of x. Either of these last two forms would be the most common way to express the derivative function. And now let's find the derivative of f of x. Again, let's write the cube root of x squared using a rational exponent. So we have f of x equals negative six x to the power of two thirds cosine x. And again, we'll have to apply the product rule to determine f prime of x. f prime of x is equal to the first function of negative six x to the power of two thirds times the derivative of cosine x with respect to x plus the second function of cosine x times the derivative of the first function, which is the derivative of negative six x to the power of two thirds with respect to x. And again, let's find the two derivatives f prime of x is equal to negative six x to the power of two thirds times the derivative of cosine x, which is negative sine x. And then we have plus cosine x times the derivative of negative six x to the two thirds, which is equal to negative six times two thirds times x to the power of two thirds minus one, which is negative one third. And now we simplify. We have f prime of x 
is equal to, well, here we have a negative times a negative, so we have positive 6x to the 2 thirds sine x, and then plus negative 6 times 2 thirds is equal to negative 4. So let's write this as minus 4 instead of plus negative 4, x to the power of negative 1 third cosine x. Let's also write this using a positive exponent. So we'll move x to the power of negative one third down to the denominator. We have six x to the power of two thirds sine x minus four cosine x divided by x to the power of positive one third. Let's also express the derivative using radicals. So in both cases, because the denominator of the rational exponent is three, we have two cube roots. So we have f prime of x equals six times the cube root of x squared sine x minus four cosine x divided by the cube root of x to the first, or just the cube root of x. These last two forms would be the most common way to express f prime of x. I hope you found this helpful.